Hello, 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 it's me, Leo, and I'm back for some more gotcha because I can't stay away. Uh, I just finished rolling for ARC. Uh, that, that video is probably also up on my channel. Uh, it went pretty well, so I, thankfully, thank God. Uh, so I'm just jumping into the guaranteed rolls now. So I haven't actually looked through all of the, I think there's 20 groups and you can pick any of the 20 groups. So I'm going to scroll through them, see which one I think looks best, and then roll for that. And then I'll do this Destiny one after that. Saving this for last, because I think it's super, super cool. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start going through. Uh, talking about who I might want, and if it's a reasonable banner for me to pull for or not. And take it from there. Uh, you can let me know in the comments, if you would like, uh, which banner you're going to be rolling for, and who you got, if you have actually done the roll already. Always interested in hearing other fellow gacha players' experiences. Uh, you know, celebrate together, cry together. I know I've complained many times before about uh, summer, ca I mean, not summer, uh, normal Castoria and normal Scotty. Uh, those two both took me over a thousand quarts each. So I've been there. It sucks. <laughs> um, anyway, guaranteed SSR. There are 20 different banners. We can pick one of them. And when you roll it, you're guaranteed to get at least one of the SSRs from that banner. Uh, I think every single year I've been playing FGO for about five years now, uh, I've only ever gotten more than one SSR from a GSSR once. Uh, I think it was a New Year's banner, and I got... It was a class one. I think I picked Assassin, and I got Cleopatra and First Hassan as my two SSRs, which I was stoked about because I was saying that I wanted either of those two. Those were my top two choices, and I ended up getting both, which was crazy. Usually I just get one. Um, my best SSR from a single, I got Musashi one year. Musashi is my favorite servant, or second favorite. Uh, Castoria, I believe, has passed her, but uh, love both her and Castoria. And then my worst, uh, most disappointing one was probably actually Sigurd, who I like Sigurd, don't get me wrong, uh, but I think he was the one I was least interested in in that group that he ended up coming from, so I've seen all sides of it. Anyway, we're going to start looking through the banners. We're going to choose one. So Saber 1, uh, I would prefer somebody brand new rather than a duplicate, unless it's a servant that I absolutely love and I would like NP2 of. So I'm assuming it shows everybody you can possibly get at once. So on here, I don't have Arthur, Shiki, or Nero Bride. Nero Bride is a good servant, for sure, especially with arts teams, so I am interested in her. I have Musashi NP5 already, so if I got Musashi, that would not make me very happy. As much as I love Musashi, uh, I don't need a sixth. Um, and I really wouldn't want another Sigurd, so this is like mid-tier for me. A lot of choices here. Uh, I have Muramasa. I like him a lot. I wouldn't mind MP up. Same thing with Charlemagne. I have him. I wouldn't mind another MP. Ibuki, I have. I hear she's good. I haven't really used her a whole lot. Astolfo, I don't have. Uh, the Twins, I don't have. Benny Enma, I have. I don't think I would want a second. I really like Okitan. Uh, Okita Alter. That's the summer version. I wouldn't mind an extra MP for that. This banner isn't really calling to me, though. Make sure I didn't miss one. Okay. Uh, I have three out of the four on this. I just don't have Moriarty. I don't think I like Moriarty enough to roll for this. Only three on this one. Uh, I have all three, actually, so definitely not this. Uh, I think I don't have Bryn, and I have everyone else. I don't really need Bryn. Uh, I don't have Romulus. I wouldn't mind an NP up for the other two, but I feel like there's more exciting banners, potentially. Uh, I don't have Iskander. He's a classic. I really liked him in Fate Zero. I don't really want or need NP ups for the other two. Um, I don't have the one on the left. I'm blanking on her name. 
Uh, I believe that's Constantine on the right. I wouldn't mind him. I have Da Vinci already, but I wouldn't mind NP up for her because I like her a lot. Uh, Reigns. Great servant, but I don't think I need an NP up. Hmm. Uh, I have everyone on this banner, so I wouldn't roll that. Uh, I... I don't have Murasaki. I love Castoria. I don't need NP up for Castoria, but I wouldn't mind having an extra one. Just because I wouldn't mind having her NP5 because I think she's my favorite servant now. Uh, I loved LB6 at Lost Belt 6. So... But I don't really use Miss Crane. I like Miss Crane, uh, and I like Okuni. I don't really need NP ups for them. So this is a question of do I want to risk it either for something new or Castoria? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if I... I think I have everyone here. Uh, I have all of them. I wouldn't roll for that. Uh... See, I don't have Raiko or... Uh, why am I blanking on the dude's name? Pickle Guy. <laughs> I can't think of his name. He's also in Golden Conway. What the hell is this character? Uh, Toshizo. Ijikata Toshizo. Um, I wouldn't mind having one of them because it's new. And, uh, you know, my bro on the far left there. I love Kyo, so... Eh. Okay. So, this is a risky one. I really like Morgan. I have all three of them. I really like Morgan. I wouldn't mind having another MP. Arjuna Alter, very cool design, very strong servant, wouldn't mind having another MP. Musashi, I already have MP5. Yes, I have both Musashi's MP5. That's how much I like Musashi. <laughs> I didn't do it on their first banners. It took me multiple banners over multiple years for both of them, but I eventually did it. So I really wouldn't want a sixth copy. But I really wouldn't mind Morgan or Arjuna going up. They're not new, but they're strong servants who would be even stronger. And it's a two-thirds chance, so that's not bad. Uh, this is also a solid option because I don't have Amakusa and I don't have Sherlock. So I have a 50% chance of getting somebody new. I have Jalter and Dante's. But I wouldn't mind an NP up for either of them. Because uh, I really like Jalter. And Dante's I like as well. And he's a, a good quick blooper. So I wouldn't mind him being stronger. So this is a pretty solid choice. This is one of the front. I would say this is a, a good choice too. If I want to risk it with Musashi being there. This is probably the best because I'm not going to be upset no matter who I get. And that's the best thing you can do from a GSSR, is pick the banner that has nothing you would be upset about. That's what you should do. Uh, let's see, on this one, I have everybody other than QSH. I don't think I would roll just for him. So on this one, again, I have everybody other than Moriarty, I think. I know it sounds like I have a lot, I've rolled a lot. I used to whale quite a bit. Back in COVID years, pandemic years, when I was just sitting at home with basically no expenses, I whaled a lot. I don't really whale quite as much to that extent. I would say I'm a dolphin. I'm willing to spend money if it's a banner I really, really want, or a character I really, really want. But I don't just spend money for the sake of it. So there are a lot that I have already. I wouldn't mind Summer Kama NP up. I don't really need extra NP of anyone in the back, so I probably wouldn't roll this. Uh, a solid lineup. Wouldn't mind NP up for Okita Alter or Melt. Probably wouldn't roll it. Uh, don't have King Protea, don't have Van Gogh, don't have Voyager, so... A three-fifths chance of somebody new, which is good. But I don't really want NP up of Yang or Abby. So that also makes it hard to justify. 
And then this is the last of the banners. So uh, I don't have Domen. I don't have Bazit. Bazit. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oberon and Piup would be fine. But I don't really want a dupe of Koi and Skya. Jox or... I should say Malay. Koi and Skya, Malay or uh, Bunyan. I know we're already 10 minutes in and I haven't rolled yet. <laughs> That's what I get for not looking at the options ahead of time. So, I think the best options, if I go back... This one is pretty good. There's a three-fourths chance that I would be fine because it's either two-fourths new, one-fourth dupe, but I wouldn't mind the dupe, and one-fourth dupe, but I don't want the dupe. Okay. So 75% chance of fine. Uh, this is like a 60% chance of fine. Um, what was the other two? This one was a 66% chance, uh, 67% chance of fine. I think I'm going to have to go with this one because I either get, I like Amakusa, I like Sherlock. I like all four of the characters here. Half of them are new, half are a dupe of a servant that I already have, but I wouldn't mind being up. If I were to rank them, I would rather have a new servant than a dupe. And I would probably rank it as... I like Sherlock more than Amakusa. So I guess I would probably say Sherlock, Amakusa, Jalter, Dantes, in that order. I'm going to go for this one. Let's do it. Am I getting the new servant right off the bat? Shiro! Okay, Amakusa. So, I get a brand new servant. Awesome. Totally cool with Amakusa. I'm just going to tap so it skips through everything else. Another servant that's four star or above. Am I going to... Ash? I don't think I had her, actually. Wow, okay. I didn't even know she was on the banner. So I get two new servants. Awesome. Well, it's not a double SSR, but I'll definitely take Passion Lip. So that was a good GSSR. You do. And Passion Lip? Hell yeah! Wow, we got a lot of Salieri's. <laughs> I totally forgot how people were like, if you want Salieri, he's literally the only three-star servant you can get on these banners. So, you're basically guaranteed, or not guaranteed, but chances are you're going to MP5 him. Or at the very least, like MP3. Uh, so we got... So today's been very good. Uh, we've gotten four brand new servants. We got Zufu, we got Ark, we got Amakusa, and we got Passion Lip. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Because we still have the Destiny Order Summon. And I'm gonna prioritize servants I don't have. So we could be looking at five brand new servants in the last, like, hour. Which would be sick. Alright. So... Get nine categories. Get to pick one for each. I like that you can pick the limits, or the limited and the perms. So, oh, it actually tells you what NP you have them at. So it's saying if it's two or above. Oh, because it says summoned and not summoned. Okay, I'm gonna put not summoned because I want somebody new. So. I'm torn between Shiki and Nero. I think Nero is better from a gameplay perspective. I would rather have her. But Shiki is a very cool 
character. I haven't seen all of the Garden of Words uh, movies. I think I've seen the first three or four. I still need to finish those. I have Assassin Cheeky. I also have Saber Nero. Uh, normal Nero. Ah, see, I don't remember like if one of these comes back sooner than the other one, if ever. I'm going to go with Nero Bride because I think I use a lot of arts teams because of the Castoria meta. I feel like I can slot her into more teams because of that, so I'm going to go with her. Archer. The three I don't have. Uh, well, oh, okay. I'm obviously not going to pick a permanent servant unless it's my only choice, because you can get spooked by them at any point. Moriarty is limited, so he could be worth doing. However, Storylock servants, in my opinion, they're basically limited. Because when do you ever roll a story banner? You shouldn't be rolling story banner. You should only be rolling great up banners. Especially for servants that you really want, right? So unless you were rolling on a Tesla rate up, you're probably not going to be rolling Tesla. I like Moriarty more, so I'm going to pick him. Bryn and Romulus. Okay, I don't feel super strongly about either of them. I've gotten a lot of random Enkidus. I have never once intentionally rolled for Enkidu, and I have four. Uh, so, like, I wouldn't mind Karnadupe. I wouldn't mind uh, Skahawk. I wouldn't mind Melusine, Ryoma, Vitra. You know what? No, I'm going to stick to the Not Summoned. Uh, let's go with Romulus. He's the Grand Lancer, after all. Get me one of the Grands. Out of everybody so far, he's the one I would be the least interested in getting. So we have... Hmm. So my favorite of these five is actually... I believe it's Taigong is his name. The middle one? The one from Tunguska. I hope his name is Taigong and I don't look like a fool. <laughs> um, but he's permanent. So I really don't want to put a permanent one in. Because I just know, like... It's probably going to be something like, during the summer banners, I'm going to be rolling for Scotty, I'm going to have terrible luck, I'm going to get Rainbow Sparks, then it's going to be a rider, and it would be him. Like, I can so vividly picture this happening. Constantinos uh, is cool. I didn't play the event with the girl that's on the far left. I was so busy with IRL stuff that I didn't get to play it. So I honestly don't know her name. I mean, I'm sure I know her name, but I don't really know, like, how she is in the story. Uh, Nemo I like, but, you know, permanent again. And Iskander, I mean, he's a classic. I loved him in Fate Zero. But he's not a great unit gameplay-wise, if I remember correctly. I'm going to think about Ryder and come back. Past okay, the only one I don't have is Murasaki, so... <laughs> there we go. Uh, Murasaki it is. Asa the only one I don't have is Lee Shuin. Okay. Lee Shuin it is. And he's story locked, so... Still not easy to get. Berserker. Okay, three choices. Uh, I'm gonna go with Raiko here. Uh, what do we... Oh my god. Why did it undo my... Okay. So we have Moriarty Ruler. Jinako, I'm not gonna pick because permanent. QSH, great soloer, good servant. Don't like him as much as the other ones story-wise. Sherlock, I really like Sherlock as a character. Hmm, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna go Sherlock. Again, why did it undo my... Six choices here. This is the most choices we've had. So Bazit, Doman, that bastard, Van Gogh, uh, the Bean Voyager, King Protea, and Kiara. So I already have Summer Kiara. Hmm. Let's think about that and go back to Ryder. I keep talking about not picking permanents, but I like him so much more than the rest of them. I loved him in Tunguska. Like, I'd know I'd be happy if I got him. It's just, when you have limited time servants who rarely come back, 
it doesn't make sense to pick a perm. Like, from an objective standpoint. Uh, I'm gonna go Iskander because he's the classic. Okay. He's classic and he's limited. Don't know how often he comes back. Great character in Fate Zero. I just gotta go... Yep, okay. I'm going with Iskander. So, back to this. All limited. I'm not, like, super attached to any of these characters. I know the least about Bazit. Bazit? Bazit? I'm not even sure which of the two it is. <laughs> um, but I like her design. Like, I really like characters who have red hair, or, like, that reddish hue. Or reddish eyes. And she has both, which I like. Uh, Kiara is crazy. But I, again, I have her summer version. King Protea, like, I don't think I would ever use King Protea. Voyager, you know, must protect, but like, not must roll for me. Van Gogh, I liked Van Gogh in the event. What was that? Like, Imaginary Scramble? Was that the event that Van Gogh was in? I'm gonna go fucking Dolman. As much as I hate, he's like, you love to hate him, right? Like, anytime he shows up in the store, you're like, I want to fucking bash this guy. Like, he's a good villain, right? Like, okay, so this would be my lineup then. They're all servants I don't have. I'm guaranteed to get somebody new. I like new. Let's do it. You're going to know immediately, though. As soon as you see the class card, you're like, okay, that's the new servant. Saber, so Nero Bride? Cool. I am totally fine with this. Honestly, gameplay wise, I think she was the best one out of everybody that I had on that banner. And I do like Nero a lot, so I'm totally cool with this. Umu! <laughs> Nero <laughs> Braido. Ah, it's too bad. Like the older servants have such short lines compared to the new ones. Well, hey, uh, that was a successful destiny roll. I wonder if you can get more than one, or if it's locked into one no matter what. I'm honestly not sure. Well, that was all of the banners. So. We got Ark in, I think it was 90 Quartz, which was great. We got Zufu as well within those 90. We got Amakusa from the GSSR, which is cool. It was somebody brand new. And we also got Passion Lip as a bonus, who I didn't have, so that's cool. And then we got Nero Bride, who I didn't have, uh, from the Destiny roll. So five brand new servants that now I have to go <laughs> level up, uh, which is also fine because now they have that SQ reward for getting servants to max ascension. Not too long ago, like within the last month, month and a half, I finally finished after, like I said, almost five years of playing this game. I finally finished getting every single servant I had the max ascension and max level for their class or for their rarity. So like 70 for the three star, 80 for the four star, 90 for the five star. Every single servant I had over 200 of them. All of them up to max level, or max ascension and max level without, like, railing. And now I have five more to do. So I got, uh, hopefully, the resources cut out for me to do that. Um, but I think this was a really successful anniversary. So I'm very happy with the performance. Um, so with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Um, be sure to let me know in the comments which banners you rolled for, uh, for the GSSR, if you rolled for ARC, uh, if you did the Destiny roll, and if you did, who you got from each of them, because like I said at the beginning of the video, I am always curious about hearing what you guys rolled for, celebrating, lamenting together, all that good stuff. Uh, if you're interested in more gotcha videos, uh, I have some on the channel already. I will also have more in the future. Like I said, I'm going to be rolling for Summer Scotty within the next month, month and a half, whenever that banner comes out, you can expect a video about it on the same day. 
Uh, Summer Merlin is very much a possibility. Maybe other random banners throughout the year. Who knows? Uh, and a lot next year. Um, potentially other games too, but FGO is my main gotcha. So uh, if you want more gotcha videos, if you want to check out streams, I do all sorts of stuff. Rhythm, uh, RPG, action adventure, visual novel, puzzle. Like I do all sorts of stuff. So if you want to hang out and chat, you know, talk about FGO, gotcha, games, um, feel free to subscribe, hang out on chats. I have a Discord as well in the description if you want to join. I can, again, just interact, chat about gotcha, chat about all that stuff. So, self-promo done. <laughs> uh, you know, like I say every time, YouTube, gotta do it. Uh, but, again, thank you very much for watching the video. Please let me know how your roles went. And, of course, I hope any future roles that you have in FGO or any other gotchas go very, very, very well. One more time, thank you for watching the video. Hope you had a good time watching, and hopefully I catch you in a future video or stream or something. But until then, have a great summer, good luck with your rolls, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.